So, one more topic we will discuss now in reasoning that is greater than or lesser than or inequality. See how to take greater than or lesser than. This is a basic concept. Suppose there are three persons A, B, C. If I am writing A less than or equal to B, B less than or equal to C, that implies A less than or equal to C. Why? Because from A to C continuously which symbol is following less than or equal. So, in inequality you will be having five symbols. One is the greater than, one is the less than, one is greater than or equal, fourth one less than or equal, fifth one is equal. Only based on these five symbols you will be answering the greater than, lesser than. Suppose A less than or equal to B, B less than C is there. Here from A to C only less than symbol is following. So, your answer is only A less than C. Now, in the first case again A greater than or equal to A less than or equal to B, B less than or equal to C. If I am given the conclusion like this A less than C and A equal to C. I am using the word less than or equal that implies either less than or equal. So, your answer is either 1 or 2 follows either A less than C or A equal to C. Now, in this greater than lesser than there is a complementary pair also. What is the complementary pair? Suppose A less than B, B greater than C. Here there is no relation between A and C. But if you are given the conclusion like A less than or equal to B, A greater than B. Pair is nothing but two things, a set of two things. So, here the answer is either 1 or 2 follows or if you are given like this A greater than or equal to B, A less than B. This is also a complementary pair. So, whenever there is no relation, if you are given one less than or equal to and one greater, this is the complementary pair. If you are given one greater than or equal to one less than, this is also a complementary pair. So, you have to follow these things while doing the greater than, lesser than.